Hey guys, it's Katie and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a beaded jewelry tutorial. So this is basically just, I think they're called seed beads, um, but it's basically just how to do jewelry and some tips and some patterns so that you can get started on your beaded jewelry journey I guess <laughs> so first things first you need um, beads and you need a string so the string that I use is this clear stretch cord it's 0.8 millimeters and it's 50 feet long it looks like this and um, I'm going to link some of the string and some beads in the description but it it might not be the same as mine though but I'll try and do my best to find as similar as I can so I have this clear stretch cord um, and then I also have this second kind that's called bead and stretch and it's seven millimeters and 75 feet so this one's a little longer that's what it looks like and um, I like the ones that are kind of thicker because they're not as stretchy. If they're super stretchy, it's, I don't know, I just don't like them as much. Um, but yeah, after you have your string, you have to get some beads. These are my beads that I use. Um, they come in all different colors, as you can see. There's a whole bunch. Um, they're pretty small, though. My mom has this, and these beads are a tiny bit bigger. Um, but there's not as many colors as there are in this. I like using this one because this has more colors. After you have your beads and your elastic string, you're going to start. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to measure out how much, how long you want this string to be. You can do necklaces, you can do anklets, you can do rings. Rings are really cute. However long you want it to be, just make sure to go a little bit extra so that you have room for your knot that you're going to tie at the end. So once you've measured out your string, you're going to have to tape down the um, string somewhere where it won't slip out. So like, I've taped it to my leg, but you have to be really careful since this string, if it falls out of the tape, all the beads will just go flying off. Make sure to be careful on where you tape the string down so that it won't fall out. So you can tape it down on a desk or on a clipboard or something like that, um, like a hard surface so that it won't slip out. After you have your string taped down, you are ready to start the beading process. So I have seven different um, templates or guidelines for patterns that you can use. The first one is one peach, one teal, one white. The second template is one blue, one pink, and three purple. The third one is pride. So you can do any pride flag that you want, um, or you could just do rainbow because happy pride month, it's pride month, and this is a good way to wear your flag. The fourth one is one green, three blue, and one green. The fifth one is three orange, one black, two white. The sixth one is one purple, one blue, one peach, and one teal. The seventh one is one pink, one purple, two peach, one purple, one pink. So those are all the patterns that I have for you guys to use as a template or a guideline for some different cool colors or patterns. After you've finished all your beading and you've got to a point where you would like to stop, you're going to tie it off in a double knot. So right over left left over right that's how I do my double knots and then after you've tied your two knots make sure to tighten them really tight and then hold the knot like say this is the knot right here hold it and then put it around, if it's a necklace, put it around your head, and if it's a bracelet, put it on your wrist, or if it's a ring, put it on your finger, um, and make sure that it's the size that you want. And don't worry, the first time I was scared, but these do stretch pretty good, like they usually don't ever break unless they're kind of old. So, 
don't worry about it breaking because usually they don't break and if you hold the knot it has even less of a chance to break so put it around wherever you're planning on um, wearing it and make sure that it's a si size that you want and then after you've made sure that it's the size that you want you put some super glue on the knot and then leave it overnight and in the morning you can snip off the extra edges and you'll be good to go and that's your necklace why i put super glue on it is because there is a chance that the um knot will come out but make sure that the super glue doesn't eat through the plastic or the cord that you're using because that has happened to me the super glue has like eaten through the plastic cord or the string and then of course it came out because there was a hole in it so be careful on what super glue you use but I think it will it will probably be fine if you just use normal super glue then after you have your knot you are done Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you want to see next. Um, I've had this in my descri description for the past like two weeks, but should I make an Instagram account? Maybe? <laughs> comment down below if you think I should. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!